Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist. And here, who will join me in a minute is Hubcap. Hey. <laughs> and today, we're going to start working on final details. Now, I did get in two layers of my background. I got it set on three with the 18L. And then I started with the four on 18L and actually bumped up to four and a half to finish it. But what we can see is where these dark areas were before. They're not so dark now. Let's see, move this around. It'd be easier than the camera. And things that were really dark have lightened up, which is what's gonna happen when you add more darks. I will go five, five and a half, probably five and a half because I did this at four and a half just to darken a little bit more. And I'm thinking about having a little bit of a lighter, um, like a soft light hitting in the back, as long as it allows the hair to glow where it's getting light. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, let's see here. There's only a little bit of graphite left and that's right here on the pearls and right here along the, the hairline. <laughs> And we're joined today with Hubby. Okay. There we go. Now we're back on track. These areas here, I actually use the 17SR, which is this one on 0.5, very light uh, heat. Because I didn't want burn. I wanted the heat without burn. Because on basswood and poplar, you can actually indent the wood to get these straight hairs. And when you burn dark over it, they pop out. So that's what I did there. I also did it in a couple other places that I think I need to fix. Um, so I'm trying to figure out where we're going to start to start getting these final details in. I'm thinking, what do you think? Where should we start? Um, because I, I'm going to go ahead and start with the 18S. So we'll just get that out of the way. I don't know. And I'm going to start at heating it at 2. And I think what we'll do is we'll start putting the hairline in okay. and putting that softer. Um, all this is going to be burned in darker. It's just having to balance everything out. The hair is still far from being done. I was just getting shapes in and adding more detail there. But we haven't said hi to everybody. So, hey, Barb, Spence, Teresa, Shirley, Wanda. I saw Colleen. Yeah, is that Colin Rose? Is that Colleen? Am I saying it wrong? Colin Rose? Colin. I'm sorry. Colin Rose. Uh, Hi. She was the first one here, too. I feel yep. horrible. She might not be here anymore. Yeah, she had to leave early. early. Yeah. And as we get more people, we say Wanda. Hi. Is here. All right. said that Yeah. So this is going to be really light at 2. Um, I'm actually going to bring my phone in so that I can see detail. Um, because... Normally, and this isn't the best photo actually because it's not the one I need. Oh well, we will go with the lighter photo. That'll just make things easier. So we do have fine hairs that lay right along the forehead. The, the baby hairs that you can't pick up into a hairdo. Mm -hmm. um, and it softens everything. Hold on one second. So mm -hmm. Val Daniels is hey, here. Val. Shirley says the sound is kind of breaking out. Is that just her or is anybody else experiencing that? Uh, Val says hers is too. Spence says he hears it too. Oh, shoot fire. Uh, it wasn't showing up before. And I fixed that. Hopefully that may make a difference. I'm going to talk and then let you guys tell me if it sounds better. All right, I'll just take this off. All right, how about now? Does that sound better? Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully, it's not too bad. For whatever reason, the mic wasn't showing up earlier. And I caught that, so at least I caught that. Um, Teresa says your voices sound high pitched. My voice, our voices. Are uh, like squirrels? Yeah, how you doing? Oh, 
Gee whiz. I'm trying to be good here. What to do, what to do, what to do. I am going to turn off the other mic. Let's see if... Alrighty, how about now? Is that any better? No popping. Fingers crossed. Sing a few bars of something for us. Something <laughs> for us. <laughs> mm. I hate when this happens. That is bad though. I I don't know what the problem is. I really don't. Why? 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 And because we're on a delay, unfortunately, it takes a minute for everybody to tell us yes or no. Ooh, goodness, this sorry about that, young. <laughs> well, they couldn't have heard it. <sighs> well, I'm just waiting to see. Yep. Because I don't want to explain anything else or do anything else until we get this straightened out. So let us know if that sounds any better. Fingers crossed. Nobody's answering. Are you getting any answers? No, not yet. I just need to know if it's better. Test. I know. Or better or worse. worse. Better or worse. Sounds like poor connections. Is I don't know why that would be. It may... Could be YouTube? No. I have a feeling it's... Says, I hear the odd one, but I think it would be okay. Oh, I'm going to pause the stream and see if I can come back and fix it. So don't go anywhere. We're going to come right back here. Alrighty, hopefully we're back. Does that sound any better? I'm waiting for YouTube to catch up. Darn it, YouTube, come on. We're connected. There we go. How about now? Any better, please? Please tell me. Oh, okay. Any better? If it's not one thing, it's always going to be another, isn't it? All right, so I'll wait to see because Hewlett says can still hear, but it's workable. Perfect. Yay. All righty. Hopefully everybody else says that works and we will get going on this hairline. I'll get the camera out of my face so we can zoom in. I just wanted to have it fully out so you guys can see where we're at. All right, let's go in. Let's go ahead and lighten up a little bit. So we're going to do the hairline first. Hewlett says it's perfect now. Um, okay. But I can still hear it popping, but can understand you I'm good now. All right. Uh, Jason's going to put some earbuds in so he can listen to the live and see what we're hearing, what he hears. Because it can be hard when I can't hear anything. So I'm going to lightly start putting in some soft hairs just to soften up this hairline we don't see too much but we do need that softer it looks like I need to erase a bit more so this is at 2 with 18 s and what this is going to mean is right here I'm going to have to darken it in order for this to work out so I'm going to erase that graphite real quick Get it off the board. I just hadn't worked here in a while, so. And then we will wipe it and see how it looks. And go from there. How does it sound? Watch him. He's not going to be able to hear me now. No, okay. I can hear you. And what we got? Um, it is crackly. It is crackly. I don't know. I've. I don't know why it would be crackly. Well, hold on. I'm catching. Oh, wait. I think I'm on the wrong one. What do you mean? Are you in the same stream? Yeah, I'm in the same stream. Nothing's changed. Just put the headphones on there. Oh, it's not linked. Your phone is. Uh, back to popping. I don't understand it. I don't know what would be causing it. 
one other place to check. The funds. Our voices are a little high. Are they? Let me see if two things are running at once. Let's see here. It is popping. It is popping. See, I don't know what would cause that. I don't know. What I'm going to do is switch you over to the camera, I think, and just turn off this mic. It's going to sound, it's not going to sound as good, but I'll let you know. How about now? Because that mic was on. Ah. <sighs> Turning them all off except for the one. How about now? If that's any better. Hello, hello. I'm for I know, I know. Now I'm all hot. Just the race while we're waiting. And then. <laughs> it's still Wait. popping. My Munchkin voice. I yeah, don't our understand are it. Still high. I don't understand Do we it. We have like an audio pitch setting. No, I changed? I put one on in order to. Let me try putting this one on and see if that makes any difference. Today's we'll have to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Yeah, I was going to say, today's <laughs> podcast is sponsored by Lollipop Yodel. Okay, how about now? I can't, I added a profile, and hopefully that. Thank you, Tay. I'm so sorry. You, you, you got the one day we're having a bad broadcast. But thank you for coming. Okay, is it any better now? Are we still heading down the yellow brick road? Oh, I'm all hot now. Well, I see. Well, says better on her end. Okay. It's better on her end. So do we. <laughs> Ter Teresa. Are we not as high pitched? Yeah, we're still headed down the yellow brick road. We're <laughs> I don't know what to do to fix it other than to restart. I don't know. And I don't want to restart. <laughs> but it's still, yeah, it's still cutting too. How bad? It's not, I mean, it's doable. Can, can I hear hear one of your earbuds? Because I, I, I got to. Make sure it's clean. <laughs> it goes, goes in your right like, ear. It goes in my right ear. And it goes this way? Yeah. I've never used these, so I just need to see. Hello? Can you hear it? It's it's not. Am I putting it in right? What part is it? Oh, the speaker's down. Yeah, down this part. That, that goes down. In my ear. Yep. Okay. I don't like the. I can't hear it too much. And I think I just I can't hear it all. I think I muted it. <laughs> yes, I, I just gotta go with you. I'm a smart person, I promise. I've just never used this before. <laughs> I like my big old headphones. I like my big headphones. Alright, so we're going to try to do this. So I need to get some whips of this down. And now all I can hear in my head is the lollipop guild. Thanks, Teresa. Okay. Well, they're saying just not perfect, but we can understand you. Well, if you can understand, we're just going to try to go ahead. Okay. All righty. <laughs> so I'm going to get these soft lines in, and they will lighten up when I put more shading here. Remember, I just blocked in this area in order. So th does that mean I need to, like, lower my pitch so it doesn't sound so high? Does that, does that work? I don't know if that's going to help or not. Oh. I'm going to drag out. That's good because I don't think I can keep that. Alright. So just putting in. And these will soften up. And I'm looking at my photo. And because it's an old photo, it's hard to see 
how the shading would have been on grandma's face right here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to um, go out on a ledge here. And Careful. actually, I know. Because your legs are really short. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so I'm going to start bringing in some shadow at the temple. <laughs> what? Nothing. They're just making a lot of uh, Munchkin jokes. That's okay. That's okay. If it makes a lot of good pie. Minute jokers. Hey, Mark. Uh, Mark B has a question. Yes, please. When cleaning the round tip pins, can you use beer wax instead of paraffin wax? Beer wax? I don't know what beer what is, is beer wax? I don't know either. If it's wax used to like seal beer bottles for homemade brew, um, I would assume that was paraffin as well. Unless there's a reason for it not to be. So that I don't know. Um, I would quickly Google and see what it's made of. And if it's made of some form of uh, paraffin wax, like um, like we found out for um, the tea candles, then it should be fine. So I'm just going to start bringing the shading in. And I'm flat, completely flat at two and a half, and I'm moving my pen pretty quickly. Beeswax, she says. Oh, beeswax. Oh, it was Ooh. a miss. <laughs> it was a Sorry. Beeswax, beeswax. <laughs> huh. Beeswax, beeswax. It's a lot softer. It's a lot softer. Beeswax is, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What is the purpose of using the paraffin? Is it because it's harder than the beeswax? I would have to, honestly, I would have to research it. I don't want to give you the wrong answer and have something go wrong. So I would prefer to say I don't know at this moment, but that should be easily researchable. So I've got graphite here that I'm trying to remove. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my denatured alcohol so we can start. I haven't pulled any graphite with the denatured alcohol. So we will see. I'm keeping it away from my face. I think I need a clean paper towel. There we go. I can still smell it. I'm keeping it away from my face. I'm just taking a shop towel that I ripped in half. So it's just this. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it. And I'm going to roll it. That way I get as much of the surface. Sounds like you're doing a magic trick. <laughs> and poof! All the graphite is going to disappear. I'm going to go ahead and fold it. I'm going to dip. It would be easier if I do it on this camera. Just a little bit. I don't want it soaking wet. Close my lid because it is toxic. And then I'm going to unfold. Find it in my wet spots. And because I didn't want a whole lot, I'm just going to fold over the wet spot and wipe. How hard are you wiping? I'm pushing pretty good, actually. And what this is showing me is it's pulling the graphite. It'll pull any excess eraser gunk. But it's also make sure, showing me how light these burns right here, what they're going to do when they're varnished. See, look at that. Look how much I lost because they're not dark enough. So that tells me I need to let this dry first. <laughs> Tighten my lid. And it tells me I need to darken up those areas. Because if I varnish just the way it is right now, it is too light. And my, my it's going to look like my burning faded away. It didn't fade away. What happened is the wood... Because any time you get it wet, it darkens, and so the burn's still there. We can see it right here. It's still here, but the wood darkens to the same tonal value as the burn, and that's why it goes away. Mm. It's not that it faded or disappeared. It just we made the wood just as dark as our lightest part. I see. So if it's cold. It's still wet, and I'm seeing a little bit of wet there. It shouldn't take 
any more than a couple minutes to dry. Sometimes where there's a burn, it might take a little longer because it's not soaking in or drying. It's like sitting on plastic, kind of, because the wood's burnished. So, there we go. Chat is saying, well, Val Daniel says, oh, that makes sense now. Wanda says, I'm happy to actually be with you guys today. Yeah. I misread that because of my dyslexia. What did you I thought she said, I'm, I'm actually happy to be with you guys today. And I was like, I'm exactly happy to be with us. Wow. <laughs> so, did hey, go on. Did make you happy? <laughs> yes, yeah, I know I was here, too. All right. So, we're all good to go. That means I can... I'm actually going to go flat. Ooh, that went did dark. Did you catch that I said Joker was here? Yes, I already said hi to Mike. Okay. Sorry. That I am out is of it. too dark for now. So what I'm going to do, it's an oops. Oops has happened. Not going to stress about it. I'm going to take my uh, 400 grit sandpaper that I have ripped into a piece. With the grain, I'm just going to soften up that burn. Before I go any further. Wanda's been sick for three weeks. I am so sorry, Wanda. I'm glad you're okay. Alright, that's light enough. Uh, normally I would, well, I'm going to do it anyway. And then I take my eraser because the eraser actually pulls any of the sanding dust from the grain. And we're good to go. I should have pulled more heat from my tip by going into a darker area i'm gonna angle this because we can still see it kind of looks like a um freckle but i can blend that so i'm gonna touch down drag some heat out of my pen and then i have found this wood this piece of wood responds better burning up down to up than it does up going it burns better going this way than it does going this way it's the only way i can explain it and if you're just listening that probably made no sense to you if you're not watching all right pull some heat from my tip and this area needs to darken anyway so and then i'm gonna go flat using my ovals now one thing i need to make sure i pay attention to is the curve of the head. Yeah, I'm gonna have to darken that because even that spot's still dark. Drag down. You could also use a spoon shader to do this. Uh, any of your flat shaders. And right now, if I wipe again, I know it's going to be too light. Are you eating my candy? No, I was looking at it. Yeah. I was seeing it how I've seen how flexible this Twizzler was. I it was just oh, you know how when they get old in there. It was from an art, a smart art box. Gotcha. So I'm going to blend these out, smooth them out a little bit more. Now Grandma has some blonde hair. That is coming down here. And I've been trying to make it not so bright, although looking at her face, it is. And remember, this is going to look darker until I put some more shading in the hair. So I got to keep that in mind. It's a matter of going back and forth, back and forth, balancing. Don't make that contagious. Sorry. Wanda wants to know, is the spoon shader wider than the one you're using? Depends on which size. On the spoon shaders. See, right now that looks pretty dark. Um, this is hot. And I am going to switch pens, so I'll just go ahead and turn it off. This is the largest spoon shader. Extra large. It's about the size of the 18M. And they just go down in size. Now I do have the new ones. Um, depends on where you. Let's see here. It's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> I'm trying to see. They all go down in size, so I tend to like the more cup ones, which is a little smaller. I think we're gonna use this one. Right there. 
Marquise has a question. Mm -hmm. My portrait has a large, dark imperfection in the wood. I tried blending it, but I can still see it. Is there a way to lighten the imperfections? Sandy did nothing. If it's the wood itself, no, because that's the way. That's the way the wood was made. Um, it's one thing if you do it, but to lighten it, no. And I haven't used this pen. That's why I'm gonna quickly heat it up. Ten. Get the oxide layer on there. Alright. Turn the heat down to two. Let that cool off for a second. No, if it's an impre imp imperfection in the wood, if it's. It, you're kind of stuck with it. Um, you can make something out of it, depending on the location of it. Some people paint them. Unless you're a highly skilled painter, um, that's not going to work out very well. I don't recommend it. I'm trying to think. He's doing Joni Mitchell. I will have to look at it in the secret group. Teresa says bleach. Bleach, dude. So, I, mean, I don't know if bleach would be a good idea. I don't know what bleach would do to the wood. Well, there's ammonia there. And then yeah. When you, um... oh, I, I will look at it in the secret group and and we'll see what can, if there's anything that can be done with it. I would be worried that the ammonia would have a reaction with the wood and then the reaction with any heat that you put on it. That's paper. true. I would test it first. Alright, I need to up my heat. Yeah, the spoons are different than the ones I had before, other than the extra large. I kept my extra large. So, and I went ahead and did this for those who were seeing my pens and they were looking different. I'm testing this pin out real quick to see what I think. That's why I'm quiet. I'm thinking about it. Let's see here. Pull it out. Okay. Because not all pins, they don't always work the same. And sometimes even it's the same kind of wood you're used to using. The grain just reacts different. One pin may do a better job than the other. Let's see. Shirley says these spin shaders must be your new set that are what Pat is currently manufacturing. Yes. Yeah, I went ahead and had him switch over my pens. I had him retip my pens so that it's easier for people to know what's going on. <laughs> so we do need more darks here. And right now we don't, we have so many lights that this looks pretty harsh. I think I will go back with the 18S for the hair. It just seems to work better for hair. So let's see here. I'm going to pull this in. Darken it a little bit because we're not getting bright light. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. I may actually take that out. It may not be worth going back and forth with it. And we can do that. I mean, it's a piece of hair that it does not define my grandmother. It just shows how light her hair could be. But it's not a big deal. Yeah, this one, this is the medium that I'm currently using on the spoon shader. And it's working pretty good for the skin. I'm moving it quickly. I'm at two and a half. I'm going in ovals, but I'm also going up and down with the grain. Because this wood's been a little temperamental with that. And that's one of the reasons I got the splotches above. Teresa says she's worked to do the dark hair, but she knows that it's there. She'll post it in the secret group today. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. Alright, so we do have some highlight here, so I don't want to go too dark because we know the, the light's hitting here. I'm actually going to touch down here. 
Uh, we are going to take up. Uh, Teresa says, pretty grandma, though. And <laughs> Shirley says, before ending the demo, would you give us a close-up of the set of spoon shaders? Sure. Okay. Sure. All right. So we have a ridge above our eyebrows. Some are more pronounced than others. So it runs in and comes back up. Let me see yours. Please. Relax. Relax. I am relaxed. You're hitting me in the face. I know. I'm trying to feel your ridge. Let me feel your ridge. Yours isn't pronounced. It's not? Mine's not either. Some people's are more pronounced than like others. Is. No. Not for what I was trying to, to pick up. So, right here, we've got a little bit of shading. Because we tend to sometimes have highlights right above where our brows sit. They make a noise. That was you. Oh, I made noise. <laughs> See, this is still really light. I'm going to zoom in. Yeah. Your sound's off, but I guess your notifications still play. I know. So we have to follow the curvature of our forehead. And darken this up a little bit. So it's just all the final details are going to be going back and forth, back and forth. Softening some areas. So we have a constant series of adjustments. It is. It's a constant adjustment. Now you can over adjust, so finding when is just enough for you. Sometimes that can feel overwhelming. I know um, Spence was asking me about that. Let's get some of this in here. When I would say a piece is done for me, when if I continue to do what I'm doing, is actually going to mess it up yeah it's done if i continue on the same path and i'm not making any good changes then the piece is done yeah and sometimes it just uh, needs to be done that's okay really good now i still see so much wrong with it which but, is normal yeah, but, yes you're working on it so yeah seen. I'm having to suck it up because sometimes an ugly phase can really get to you and you want to stop if you just keep going just a little bit more sometimes all it takes is a little bit more it's like Wanda is getting like, you know they're doing the move and oh that's right that she's been able to put her entire burning set into one large tub, so everything is one area. So when they're in their hotel rooms, she's still be able to burn. We traveled um, with my burner. Well, with my burner, I only had one at the time. <laughs> it was in a tub. And Kathy Grimes is here. Hey, Kathy. It's a doctor's appointment. So. Oh, all is okay. Which, um, how long do you want to go? We're at 11.34. I'm going to wait to see if there's any other questions. Okay. So this is all going to be a matter of darkening up any of the shadows smoothing them out I am the spoon shader is kind of softening lines and that's what I'm going for it's working pretty good and if I get a little bit of texture that's fine because skin has texture so it's not anything I'm going to stress about it totally works so we have heating and then I am going to darken this. I don't know how much was picked up at the beginning of the live because of our issues. I'm going to darken the background at least one more time. And that is going to be... That's still messed up. Oh, Spence just got done with his piece and he wants to put it in the frame. But it's just a little bigger than 8 by 10. I hate it when that happens. When that happens, that's when you got to look at a mat. Well, yeah, you can either look at a mat or you can shave off a little bit of your piece. Yeah, I don't know if he's got the tools to do it. 
Now I'm just going through and darkening, 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 darkening. And this will be the main continuation of the P of me working is going to be darkening and defining. And every time I darken up a level, a layer of an area, it shows me I need to darken something else up because it all works together. So now I know grandma's lips need to go darker. Well, that's true. You could put it at a mat because if it's because if it's slightly larger than eight by ten, then it should fit an eight by ten aperture for a mat, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will. The, um, and then you could have a little bit larger frame. So I would purchase an eleven by fourteen frame, and most of the time those come with a mat, so you don't have to worry about cutting one. Um, I don't tend to like the white mats for burning, but. This is a swan. The white might actually work with the frame you picked. Yeah. Yeah. You could do uh, some mats. Well, I mean, pre-mat, pre, -mat, pre -mate. Yeah, you can buy some pre-made mats. That don't. Most of them are white core. But you could get a reverse bevel. And that would just... The thing is with the mats, when you purchase them, and they come tend to come in packs. You said it's a little bit bigger than an eight, the 8x10 eight frame. So you're going to need an 8x10 mat that fits an 11 by 14 frame. Or, actually, you don't even have to go to 11 by 14 Go to You can go to 9 by 12 It looks like he's planning on sanding it, though, to reduce the size. Mm. So, I guess it's I would remeasure. I would remeasure and find out if maybe your board isn't a 9 by 12 because there are 9 by 12 frames, and go with that. Because if it's just a little bit too big, it could be. It's an 8x10, though. It is an 8x10, okay. I would just get a mat and go 9x12. That's what I would do. So all this area needs to darken. All of it. So it's going to be a matter of going back and forth. That's what all the final t details are, is going back and forth. Softening some areas, darkening others. Right now, I'm just kind of skipping around. It's appropriate since you're a munchkin. <laughs> Am I still a munchkin? I believe you still are, yes. Uh, as I can tell, this line on Grandma's face. Even though I'm at lower heat, I can tighten up that line. Well, Spence is thanking you for mm -hmm. the advice on the map. Yeah, I think that'll be your easiest fix. I have not seen any questions. Alrighty. We're almost 11.40. Okay. Well, Grandma's not going to be on screen anymore. I mean, I'm not going to do any lives in regards to Grandma. Um, I will post... It's funny I did that. I will post in uh, both groups, though the secret group gets more information. Let's move that over there. <laughs> Bernadette was trying to. Yeah, Bernadette was trying to get in the way. Um, I will definitely put updated photos, especially in the secret group. Um, next week, I'm actually I'm thinking about doing a doing a live for the special toasties. It is a nine by twelve, or is he saying nine by twelve frame? No. I don't know. I'll wait. I might have to talk to him after the live. Um, we will be doing a rattlesnake. And the purpose of the rattlesnake is the neighbor across the street who so graciously, during our big storm, um, and what, over two feet of, two and a half feet of snow, kept snow blowing our driveway and our sidewalk and helping us out. So I am making up a burning. And he said he loves rattlesnakes, and that's what his uh, master thesis was on, rattlesnakes. And that's what we're going to be doing. I've never done one, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> cool. So that's what we're going to do, but I'm thinking about this week doing a live just with the special toasties, which if you want to become a special toasty, just click the, where's it at? There should be a join button right next to, uh, right underneath my name or to the right of it. Um, it's blue. It's blue. 
and I will be making my pattern in Photoshop. That's going to be a very detailed pattern. Uh, he said he likes he wanted a photo he like the he likes the idea of the rattlesnake in a defensive pose up watching so that's what I found a photo so that's what I am going to start so we'll start that next week um that one's I'm trying to that one's also going to be on basswood because it will burn quicker if I do it on birch it's going to take a little bit longer so I'm just going to do it on basswood so I can get it done and get that off to him nice. across the street <laughs> should I mail it to him like pack it up mail it to him just so I can go across the street <laughs> I don't know that could be silly yeah oh is our buddy been here yep yep our buddy's been here oh God. there we go six thumbs up and one thumbs down oh don't hit forget to hit the like come on YouTube not <coughs> sharing us again <sighs> what you gonna do oh do you know what to say say it with me yes and I know I haven't been able to hear you say it lately you moved it where'd you put it there right. it is okay. I did it <laughs> say it with me you're Get awesome off my lawn you can't oh, do this I'm sorry why because you're a pyro artist happy burning guys Bye. <laughs> From the lollipop girl. From the lollipop girl. We are the lollipop girl. You don't have to do that. Girl. I know. <laughs> Actually, it could be. I don't remember if it's out of. I think it's out of copyright. 